my cherished learners, now that we have actually had a fair idea of the periodic table, I believe we can use that as the basis to progress into our next lesson. That is chemical compounds. In the beginning, we define compounds as chemical combination of two or more elements. So that is compound. A compound is a chemical combination of two or more elements. And we, we also learned that we, for, a, for an atom to come together with another atom to form a compound, it, it just means that both atoms are unstable. That A is unstable and B is unstable. So they are lacking stability. So one, which is a positively charged as cation, will have to come together with the one that's negatively charged anion. They come together, then they balance charges, then it becomes a compound. So we have several of them, several compounds. I have made, I've made this rough sketch of the periodic table made up of the group one group two then here is our transition metals then group three group three four five six seven now these are the elements that would be forming compounds so if you should take an element like um, any element from group one, of course, those in group one, they are charged is plus one. Those in group two is plus two. Those in group three is plus three. Those in group five is minus three, minus two, and so forth. So let's take any, and a compound is a plus ion and then a minus ion. So a metal and then a non-metal coming together to form a compound. So we can have lithium here as our L plus, and then we can pick any of the minuses. Let's say we are picking oxygen, and oxygen here is minus two. So oxygen here, minus two. Now, this is lithium, this is oxygen. Now let's see what compound will be formed. First of all, I said because they are coming to form a compound, the charges has to balance. So first, you need to balance the charges. And if you look here, oxygen is two and lithium is just one. So it means for them to balance, we need another lithium charge. So it means you have something like this, Li plus. So this will be, these two charges will have two plus and this is minus. So that is how they will come together. So that to balance, because this will come together, it will come two plus and this already has two minus. So here, what will happen is the formula is you need two of Li and then one oxygen for it to balance. Or you can just interchange their charges. This here, this year so this is l i then these two comes down then oh this is the formula so this is the formula for lithium and then oxygen let's take more examples let's pick any element from group two let's take magnesium magnesium here is plus two so our plus two is here. Then let's pick any of the negative, the non-metals. Let's say we have, um, let's say we have sulfur. And sulfur is in this column. And that is two minus. So our sulfur is here, two minus. We said for the ions or atoms to form compound, they have to balance their charges. And of course, this year and this year are already balanced. So plus two and minus two is zero. So the formula for this is Mg and then this. Let's take another one. Let's go to group one. Let's take um, potassium. 
potassium is plus one, so our key. Then let's pick, let's see any element from the from this column. That is the group seven. Let's take let's take um, let's take iodine. Potassium is plus one here, and iodine is minus one. So, and I said before, before for them to come together and form a compound, their charges have to balance. Their charges have to balance. And if you come here, this is plus one, and this is minus one. Straight away, it is zero. So this is K I. That's the formula. Now let's take same potassium, the K. That's a plus. And then any element from let's say group two. Sorry, the um, the group six. Let's take oxygen, and oxygen is minus two. Oxygen is minus two. Now you realize that here is one, and here is two. For them to come together, potassium should have two plus, and oxygen should have already already the minus. So here, let's continue here. Potassium. Is a plus and oxygen is a two minus they want to form a compound first of all the number of ions here have to balance and we know this is a plus and it's a two so mean that there should be another plus of potassium so here as this so you have two here to balance with the minus two so it means that you need two potassium atoms with one oxygen so the formula is k two of this and then one oxygen. I think it's clear. Or you can just interchange. So your two will come here, then your one will come here. Please don't add the charges. Once you are interchanging, don't add the charges. So here, if you interchange, your K will be, the two will come here, and then the one will. So this is same K2. So this is potassium and then oxygen. We will come to the naming of this compound, but I want you to get this, the formulas first. When you get how to write a formula from the periodic table, knowing their charges, the group one, group two, and so forth, you just interchange their charges or look at how many are left for it to balance. Let's take calcium and um, calcium and then nitrogen calcium is in this column that is two plus here and nitrogen as our n is here that is three minus now straight away they want to form a compound of course it's a, a plus and then a minus so they want to form a compound and this compound here is two plus and here is two minus so how Two plus and here three minus. Of course, they don't balance. You need one more of this, but because they are not if they are not even, it means you have to multiply. So you can look at multiplying here by three and then multiplying here by two. It means you need you need three of the calcium. Calcium is two plus. So three of them. And then two of this. Well, this is two plus two plus that is six. And this is three minus and a three minus. That is what negative. So the positive six and a negative six will make it zero. You get it? So this is like you need three of this and then two of this. So C A three N. Two, or you can just interchange their charges like this. So this is this comes here and this goes here. So this is like C A T R N two. So please take note. It says that you are interchanging. Once you are able to, once you are able to stitch the charges of the ions or the elements coming together to form the compound 
just interchange them or balance their ions two ways um you can you can try more and then move on to the next one we can have aluminium aluminium let's okay we have it here aluminium is in group three so it is plus three here then we can have aluminium and then let's say oxygen oxygen is in group six so two minus now they want to form a compound oxygen is two minus aluminium is three plus of course they can't form because this is more than this so to really bring this one together you just have to have the least common multiplier that is two to multiply here and then two two here and then the three here so it means that you will need two of this and then three of this so it means you have aluminium three plus one then we have oxygen two minus and then oxygen two minus so this plus this is six plus and this is six minus when they come together is zero so the formula for this it is a l you need two of this so a l two and then o three or you can just interchange once you have their ions correct indicated at the top you can just interchange them like this this comes here this goes here please don't add the charges after you have interchanged because there are no more ions they are compound so this this comes here as a l2 this goes here o3 this is aluminium and then oxygen aluminium and then oxygen now let's look at how we name these compounds.